I'll just kind of go through her thoughts. Matplotlib, you would choose this for complete customization control and publication quality static plots. Again, they require a little bit of work though. Uh, Seaborn, you would probably select this for statistical analysis and elegant plots with minimal code. Plotly used for interactive dashboards and web ready visualizations. Altair, you would pick that if you want a declarative data exploration through the grammar of graphics. PyGal, opt for this if you want to do lightweight web integration and again, simple SVG parts and charts. Bokeh, you would go with this if you want complex web applications and flexible deployment options. So thanks again, Kuyun. I, I really like this comparison. It's very, very well thought out. And again, I really love that there's so many code examples kind of showing you what you mean by the amount of complexity inside of each of these. Quick note, Seaborn is actually built on top of matplotlib. So if I remember correctly, there's a way of getting at the matplotlib object once you've prepared it using Seaborn. Normally, you're using Seaborn, you do that high level and you just ignore it and let it do its high level thing. A quick way of doing matplotlib graphs and then modifying them after. And then drilling in if you need to. It's basically like a wrapper with a bunch of style stuff, like you mentioned before. So, Cool. 